Hello guys, today I was uh, at the hardware store and browsing around something that I can use and then I found this, this device. What it is, is the, as it says in here, petrol and oil suction pump. Well, I don't have use for it as, uh, as uh, this product was intended to, but uh, I was thinking that uh, if it can uh, suck the oil out of motors then uh, most likely it's pos uh, it's uh, good enough to suck out air to decompress the bottle so I can impregnate the oil into the wood uh, I've already tested that the product itself is works so here I have prepared some test piece there are two bottles, both are the same size, different height but the same capacity and this fits nicely in there and here are the fairly same size uh, piece of wood, test piece A and B uh, this wood is the birch, I thought this is uh, sort of neutral density wood and uh, also it's the wood that I use quite often so I thought this is a good piece to test I have set it up the pump like this uh, I don't need this tube but uh, since there is the hole here that I need to patch it and uh, I thought well I don't want to make any modifications now so I just stuck this hose and here comes this uh, uh, clip the crump which closes this tube pretty tight so air doesn't go in so this is the the, the, the jamming piece for the intake hole ok, let's start it A goes into A bottle, A, B to the B bottle ok I'm gonna push it inside start Okay. I'm gonna put the B bit on the side. Close this one. Oh, I hope it's too much, too much oil. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can see but as I pump let me zoom in as I pump the air bubble comes out from the wood which is good means it's working the pump is getting real heavy As you can see the bubbles are forming around the around the wood and this uh, the B without the decompression of course nothing I'm gonna help just gonna push it in so that the, it stays in the oil okay Okay, now I'm gonna leave this little while and uh, pump the air out as as needed. Okay, so now it's uh, five minutes past. Uh, let's stop the timer. Hip. Five minutes fifty second. Let's uh, check this wood. 
Um, hmm. I think it's quite obvious with this picture the depressurized one the false one this one is definitely darker in color and uh, this is just uh, dropped soaked this uh, cut off corner is well, more or less the same color maybe a bit lighter okay maybe a bit difficult to see but I have taped and right on the edge of the bottom of the tape line is the A and the B is pretty much the same place as I started with so it sucked in the oil pretty a lot this is actually amazing it's such a short time um, I'm gonna now split this test piece and see what's happening inside okay so here's the two pieces I just split it with knife I didn't completely split it so proves that I didn't do any tricks between okay let's see oh uh -huh, there you go hope camera is catching the difference of the color um, it's penetrated all the way here only this middle portion tiny bit is still has a brighter color but this this grain is completely penetrated all the way all the way and then the test piece B it's actually surprisingly deep penetration I was I wasn't expecting this much it's about one centimeter in both sides this this side was I guess it was upper side that uh, was sticking out from the wall uh, oil so it's a bit shorter but uh, comparing it's a lot less penetrated the oil let's compare the piece let's see uh, so I'm just mixing it see the difference this is uh, this is actually a quite huge find because I've been I've been really wanting to do s different projects for the knife handles with uh, using this method I would like to try also with epoxy or some kind of resin as well I don't know if it's gonna work those are much more dense liquid but uh, definitely 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 with oil it works also it means that it works with lacquers and uh, other type of uh, wood hardening uh, liquids or the chemicals okay hope you like this and um, well see you next time on next video bye bye